quick video here just about this workbench. It's a bit of a rip-off of the Black & Decker workbench. This one's by Wix and it's just a simple fold-down one. It doesn't fold up at all. But what I found was the instructions were pretty naff and although I don't mind putting things together I just found it a bit of a mission to get this assembled quickly and you know enjoyably. So that's your box. Now this isn't this isn't a build video as such because I've already built it. I wish I did video it, but there was a lot of kind of fiddling about and faffing trying to get the right screws out and stuff uh, initially, so it would have been quite disjointed. But I think what helps better than that is just to see it finished because the box doesn't really give you enough of a picture really. Let's get the instructions because the instructions are really poor. So this is what you get. Naf picture there, and that is it. This is all you get. So, not very good. Um, you get a kit list, and then this is your steps here. So, one, two, three, and then four, five. And then this is your, well, they call it exploded diagram, I guess. But look, I mean, there's there's not enough detail there on what screws to use where. And it probably took a lot longer than it should have done. So this video is just to really show you where all the bits go and what parts uh, should slot in. So I do agree with the sequence. So you start with these here. Now these ends are all fully assembled. So they come in the box folded. So you have to unfold them as per the picture. They're marked with left and right, left and right. So get them the right way around. And then the first step is to mount these sections here, so your front bar and your back bar. So, here's your left, there's your right, open them up and then use the screws here to attach these bars. Once you've done it, it's really really logical, but that first bringing out the box and getting all the screws into the correct parts was just a bit of a mission really and not that cool, it was a bit, a bit disjointed. So yeah, so you'll have eight of these, one, two, three, four on the other side, five, six, seven, eight, and they look like that, around so you can see, so these are the smaller of the ones, so you have one of those at the back, get your washer, and then your nut, put that through, do that twice on that side, twice on this side and then you do exactly the same with the back so again get all the correct nuts and bolts washers two on here again like, as you can see there they are I just hand tighten these just to get me going and then you have your basic frame but the trouble is as you can see it's not a very good shape um, I suppose it is a bit of an A, it's not a perfect A, but it looks it looks wonky because once you've built it, it looks just like nothing would fit together properly. So that's the first stage. Second stage is to use the wood screws and attach the these bits here to these bits here, not on the frame yet, so you attach those. So let's have a quick look at those. This is straightforward. So as you can imagine, you've got these two pieces on their own, and then you've got this piece here, which has these attached to it. And these, these all come complete on this model. And what I did, imagine it was like that. There we go. So I just lined up all these here like that. You have to fiddle about with this a little bit, open, close. Same here open and close, get them all lined up and then screw in those screws. So you've got 16 of them I think it is, four, 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 four. Okay, so are they on here? Mm, yeah, they are on there. So they're the only screws you get. So just screw them in, reasonably tight but not very tight because if you go too tight you'll end up with stripping them and then 
it's kind of a bit useless then because you can't really use those screws again, the hole is too big. This isn't good quality wood. I think it was Beach on the original Black & Decker Workmates. This is MDF, I think. With the latest Black & Deckers, I think it's bamboo. So once you've done that, then you've got these pieces here attached to the wood. I just imagine it's like that. Let's get it back up again. Okay, so you've got these pieces here attached to those. Okay, and you've screwed them all in. Then it's a case of putting this whole assembly, including this, onto these. So again, it doesn't look like it would fit, but it does. You have to open and close these a, a little bit, because imagine these are just flapping in, in the breeze, you know? So they open and close like that. I line them up, put this down. As you can see, there's not really much in there, but it does go on. Same on this side, press it down, kind of align it up and align all these holes. And then you've got these very large bolts here. Poke them through. As you can see, I've used a washer this side, washer this side, and again, washer here, washer there, then a bolt. Because you get a bag of so many washers, you think, well, you know, am I supposed to use washers here as well? Or just at the back? So these just had washers at the back. These ones have washers here and here as well. Okay, so you're using washers either side of those. Nip them up, you have to move the legs back and forward, back and forward, slot it in, and eventually, then you'll see this. Do that on both sides. So that will then take care of this piece, slotting down onto here. So that's this step three here. All right, step three. And then finally, you've got step four, attach the plastic feet. So these come, these are just caps. These are all loose. And they were a nightmare. Had to warm them up in the sun. I guess you could use warm water as well, just to really heat them up. And then I had to place them on and give them a real good bang without splitting them. I've heard a couple of people end up splitting those legs, or the feet rather, just by banging them on. And they go in a particular way as well. So if you can see that, it's got the longest point on the extremities. So they're kind of, they go one way only. So as you can see that one there as well. Right? There we go. So again, the longest points at the bottom here. So what you have in the end is all your long points are facing out. Which is logical, because once you stand it up, as you can see, you can see how angled it is. You've got your long point here, short point this side, and then those kind of just fill in, uh, kind of the equal size, I think. But yeah, short point on the inner side, long point on the outside. So it's basically kind of, I suppose it's splayed, isn't it? That's what it's trying to do. And then that's complete. Uh, last step. He's just poking these on here, look. They come loose. Poke them in, each, in whichever hole you want, or for storage, stick them down there. So that is it complete. Now I wish they'd had a finished high quality picture. So you could look and just see which bits go where and how many washers they're supposed to use. And it would have just made it a lot quicker and easier and, and more enjoyable, but they didn't. But there we are, so I thought this might help. And then to fold it, just lift that. Lift that one. And then it should go together. Try and do this by holding a camera. I'll just fold it up together. Now, unless I've done something wrong, as you can see, so it doesn't really fold completely flat, it's not flush like the Black & Decker version of this one. But it's better than nothing. That's as far as it goes in. So up against the wall. Can you hang it? Mm, I suppose you could hang it. You can get some hooks, whack it through there. And as you can see there, 
it's not completely flush it doesn't fold completely flat and I think that's just the way it's been designed the way the head is designed there's a slightly higher quality not quality but different type of version which also has these that flip up they come up to hold things I don't know if that holds any, fold any better but that's this one here that's it really so and then to unfold I'm just going to push that out, there we go Arrgh! difficult to do with one hand use my leg, there we go so they lie nice and straight like that and then this piece angles up and that's it cheap and cheerful I think it was it was 23 quid so it is cheap these here are squeaky check out that as you can see the way these are is that metal that is metal of course this is all plastic I stuck a bit of WD-40 in here because they were quite stiff on mine and in here Probably do with a bit of grease actually on those threads. Da -da -da -da. Opens quite away. There we go. So there's the thread inside there. This is all, you don't have to do anything with that, it's all one piece. The handles are on. I think on the Black and Decker you have to put the handles on and bang this piece in, bang the pin in, C pin. But that's all. That, this head is all complete, apart from the wood. And here's a close-up of the wood. Uh, yeah, so yeah. definitely won't last if you get it wet, which you're not supposed to do, I suppose. But and I think I can already see chipping here, so it's already chipping off a little bit up here. So. Yeah, it is a bit so cheap, but then you're not paying a lot, you know, you're, you're paying 23 quid for a little table and a device, and that's all I really wanted. So I hope it's helpful. Uh, you've got your ruler, um, protractor, so you've got that there. And you can, like you say, you can move these to wherever you want. Not much to them. I don't know if they're the same as Black and Decker ones, so if you lose one or break one, I don't know how easy they are to replace. There we are. So I hope it's helpful. This is what I kind of wanted, just something so I can see it assembled and just see what bolts go where. So, point to note, this is the same as other ones like the Draper, the Silver Line, um, Aldi, I think this, they do one as well, or Lidl, one of the two. So, all same design. And unlike the Black and Decker, these all have this kind of frame section here, these arms. So that's what they have. And when I think the Black and Decker now is, doesn't have these, it just has the mechanism that folds up here. Up here, somewhere like that, and just folds without these two. But yeah, so there we go. So I hope it was helpful. That's what I wanted. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.